All right, my friend, Eric here. I am extremely excited. I mean that sincerely. I know everybody says that a lot, but I am extremely excited to be sharing with you um, this series of one a day skill sets, 21st century skill sets, whatever you want to call it, new economy skill sets that you must have today to succeed as a business owner, an entrepreneur, online marketer that isn't going to cost you any money and is really not going to cost you any real time either because a lot of us don't have a lot of time and a lot of us don't have a lot of money these days. So not that there's an excuse for, re for that. We have to get better at being more productive and leveraging what we do best and also be better at marketing and growing our business so we have more money and more time. Uh, but with that said, let's get right into today's lesson. As always, these lessons are also uh, going to be, they will be transcribed and it might be different versions, but the lesson will be there as the same. If you like to read more than watch this audio or you can't stand watching me on video um, in these just total raw uh, videos that I decided to make in my home office, not even in my regular office. They're just in a, my home office in my basement. And um, we also have them as an audio. You can listen to it just as audio too if you're someone that's always on the go. Throw them on your iPod, throw them in a car, whatever you want to do. All right? So with that said, here is number one uh, uh, today's lessons and it is the first in all of these and it is the word discernment how how much I want to get that across to you discernment in my opinion is the number one skill set if you want to call it now again some of these you might not think of them as skill sets but it is it's a mental skill set um, an intangible skill set maybe you carry around within your head discernment everything else I share with you going forward in this email series of one a day you need to have discernment as number one anything you do in your life you need to be so discerning of who you're listening to what you're taking in you have to know why you're listening to this person or resource whatever it is uh, ask yourself, is this in line with where I want to go, with my strategic goals and my um, where I'm, my next objective is, my next step to get where I want to go in the least amount of effort and fastest way possible. So discernment is by far, and I'm reading some of this on the screen as well for my notes, so I apologize if I'm always looking at the camera, uh, but you need to take this very seriously and write each one of these down as I go through them daily. So the first one is discernment. and I think it really is the mother of all skills and abilities. So let me just tell you the dictionary.com. Dictionary.com is one of my favorite sites. That's a cool little tip for you that I subscribe to it. So they'll send you like the word of the day. Um, and you'll you just learn a lot of cool stuff. But you become a better you have a better vocabulary, so you become you get better ideas when you start to understand better language, better words. Um, so dictionary.com you may want to subscribe to it. Uh, to their newsletter or whatever they call it. So dictionary.com defines discernment as the faculty of discerning, discrimination, and I like this one, acuteness of judgment and understanding. Really cool. So as a business owner and entrepreneur, you must have discernment. So ask yourself, who's telling you the truth? Who's worth listening to? including me. If, I, if I'm not someone that can further you along in your goals, you've got to unsubscribe from my email list as well as anybody else's that is not helping you. And don't feel bad about it because um, they're not going to lose sleep over it. Okay, uh, Who's telling you something useful and who's not? So basically you need to know, Okay, as important it is to know what to discern and what is not for you, you also need to know what is going to move your business and you, you as a you know, person in your personal life where you want it to go. So what's a waste of your time and or, or money? Are you, you know, you got to discern that. Where are you spending your attention? Where are you spending your time? And where are you spending the money that you're making? Be discerning in all that. And um, I'll tell you, it's extremely, um, I'm trying to think of the word, you just need to be really careful, have a lot of clarity and pay attention as an entrepreneur and a business owner today because the world, 
this might sound kind of kind of funny, but the world is set up almost, especially today, to almost be against an entrepreneur, right? You ever feel like that? It's like, geez, I, it, everything is, whether it's the government, at least in the United States at times, I'm not getting on a, on a bully pulpit here, pulpit here, but taxing us in every way that they can, especially small business owners. Um, and then you've got all this information coming at you. Everybody's clamoring for your attention. Everywhere you look, there's an advertisement. Okay, So you need to have that almost tunnel vision, but without being stuck in a tunnel, if you want to say, of what it is you need to pay attention to and what it, it doesn't, what you don't need to. And that's a very delicate balance, but you um, need to do it. So lesson one, that is it. Simple, straightforward, something you can start to uh, practice right now. And let me sum it up with reading you what I wrote here, which will also be uh, transcribed for you or, or at least put into the, the notes underneath the video. You need to stop listening to the wrong people, period. End of story. Go through your inbox. I did this. And I'm telling you to do it. Go in and, and unsubscribe from people that are not helping you get where you want to go. First thing you should do. Number two, stop paying for marketing and advertising that doesn't give you a return on investment. You need to know your numbers and you get to stop paying for it. Stop reading a dozen newsletters from quote unquote gurus who just want to try and sell you on something and it's about it's their agenda. And it's not bad to listen to other people that can help you. But understand that they have their own agenda, and you have to put you as numero uno first, and not in a selfish way, but you've got to take care of you first so you can take care of everybody else. Stop and reevaluate what your immediate goals and objectives are. So then, once you do that, start to only absorb and apply what you learn from those few resources to make the needle in your business move in the direction you want it to go. Next is stop listening to your friends in your industry or your networking buddies gals or guys that tell you what's best. The chances are they're doing the same thing everybody else is doing in your industry and you need to start to think differently. Start challenging the status quo. You don't have to become a you know, a renaissance person but you need to um, uh, you need to make sure that even if they're your friends and they have your best interest in mind you need to say okay is this right? Is it wrong? You know, how, Do they really know what they're saying? Or are they just following the status quo? and start becoming very careful of what you spend your time reading, learning, and applying. Applying as well, not just learning and reading and watching on TV or listening to on the radio. Lastly, start becoming very aware of who you are taking any advice whatsoever from, including me. I've said that to you before. So start to practice discernment. And so some quick steps that you can take right now to do this if you do want to take some time. So yes, I said this won't cost you any money or time, but if you do decide to really implement it, it could take a few minutes, but that's okay. It's going to pay you dividends for the rest of your life. Number one is go into your inbox, your email box, and unsubscribe, like I said, from everybody uh, whose list you're on that you're not getting anything from. I did this personally in my own life, and I always do it. I might subscribe to somebody and I say, well, eh, I'm not resonating with that. Delete. If it's supposed to be, I'll, they'll show up in my life again. Number two, delete any bookmarks. This is a big one. Delete. I haven't done this as good as I could yet, but I'm working on it. Delete any bookmarks on your computer of sites you read often. Just delete them. Um, maybe even RSS feeds that you get stuff that comes in from. If it's not helping you, get rid of it. And this should be really a good starting point. Um, that will save you, literally, this will save you a few hours per day um, and more than that per week and obviously more than that per month. So I'll talk with you tomorrow at the next lesson. I hope discernment is something that opened your eyes to, wow, okay, I can save myself time and money right now by not listening to things that, that aren't going to help me, um, and I'm not spending money or time on other things that are, again, not going to help me, and so you can put that where you're best needing to put it, put, putting your attention and your money. And uh, as always, please feel free to reply to this video with your thoughts and share it with others that you think are needing to hear it, because that's what this is all about. So. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. And again, look forward to seeing you next time.